Uh, time to do Virgo. Virgo. Ooh. Justice. And the devil could be about uh, addictions, bondage of some kind. Libra and Capricorn. Could be Earth Angel energy too. Devil and your wish will be granted. Let's give it one of these two first. Okay. Which one of Virgos? What do we got in the heart of this situation? Part of Jill and Virgos. I think we need a soul cycle of uh, Virgo. Okay. So Princess of Cups, so younger water sign. The uh, princess of the palace of the floods is the heart of the situation. We got in a uh, challenge position there. Really. This one. Okay, the challenges do uh, close out a cycle, possibly with this younger uh, water sign. Um, uh, we thinking of subconsciously there. Spilt milk, sadness, loss. Mm. Yeah. Maybe or, uh, yeah, you, you, whatever caused it. If it was this uh, page of cups that caused this, so you might want to close on a second. Mm. But really, it's a, I don't know. This could be about something totally different, too. What do we got in the uh, past here? How, how do we get here? Okay, a religious leader. So it could have been dealing with the Taurus. This is uh, the um, Magus of the Eternal Gods, uh, which uh, basically can represent a religious leader, a religious organization, good or bad. Um, Tradition, uh, yeah. So, that was in the past, you've been doing this as an organization. Or, uh, what do we got in the present situation? Okay, presently you're waiting for your ships to come in, Lord of Established Strength. This is, uh, Aries Energy. Um, so... Yeah, you you did some, you you made a move or something. Maybe you you um put some money out on the street or whatever, and you're just waiting for your for it to come back now. And, uh, so you're waiting for something anyway. It could be anything. It doesn't have to be money. We got in the future there for uh, for Okay, in the future you're gonna have some conflicts. Leo energy, the Lord of Strife. So, uh, yeah, this is Leo energy. It's Sagittarius, isn't it? I don't know. It's not just Leo. Yeah, so conflict. Mm, right in here. I wonder what that could be because of... Oh, we we'll might have to clarify that. 420 on the clock. Uh, the bottom of the deck, I should say, is the last judgment. So this is the underlying energy of the whole read. This is very significant. So throughout this whole read, everybody's being judged. So that would could create conflict too, because when judgment's being handed down, everybody's a little out of nature. Okay, the way you're influencing it is uh, the hermit. So you could be. Uh, this is your energy. So that's perfect, uh, Virgo. This is uh, your energy. This is where you should want to be tickling the snake of the belly there. 
this is you and your element. Your Domagus is the voice of light. Your uh, there's the Trinity right there. The Father, or the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. So uh, yeah, and, uh, I still don't know what to do with this egg is. I think because the hermit can create. So I think he creates something out of that egg or egg of creation. Hmm. But yeah, see, he's got power to tread over the serpents because of the uh, Holy Trinity there. He, that's why he can tickle the snake's belly. The snake can't do nothing, right? It's Virgo energy. So you could be investigating something going within. You could be uh, spending solitude, meditating, touching base with the most high. What you got in the hopes and fears? That's quick. King of Wands. Okay, so... You could be hoping to be in this energy, your creative energy, or you could be uh, fearing somebody like this, somebody an outside the box thinker, the prince of the chariots of the fire. I don't think you'd be fearing them, you know what I mean? Like, just not going to deal with them. What do we got in the uh, lens you're looking to there? Ooh, that's not good. So you're uh, looking back. This is a scorpionic energy. This is nostril gel. This is where the phlegm builds up here in the, this cavity right here where it comes up here. And you see those two flowers? Those are two lips. And uh, these are the nostril holes right here which come out like right by your two lips, right above your two lips. So this is, and this is the nostril gel flowing down, flowing down, flowing down. Or this could just mean like um, that you're thinking of uh, the good old days, right? nostril jelly, you know, back in the day. Uh, and possibly it's not good memories because this is not good energy to be in uh, very Virgo. This is Gemini energy. This is uh, this one called Lord of Despair and Cruelty. This is like replaying negative thoughts over and over in your mind. Having nightmares, not being able to sleep. Like uh, you could have depression, anger, this kid, if you stay in this energy, it can drive you nuts. So maybe just deal with this issue from the past and bury it. And so you don't have to. Yeah, because it's not good. That's a horrible energy. Reminds me of an, of an electron in your brain, like blowing up, like, you know, like losing, you could lose your shit. You can literally go nuts if you stay in that energy. What do we got in the environment? The environment for our locals. Three. So, Lord of Harmonious Change, you're trying to change harmoniously with the times, and somebody's bringing you a couple of love, or you're bringing somebody else a couple of love here. This is like a romantic person here coming in, the Lord of the Waves and Waters, full of emotions. And, uh, this is Lord of Harmonious Change, and possibly with a Queen of Wands. So, you could be dealing with a Queen of Wands. Now we got a couple here because we got a King of Wands and the hopes and fears and in, in the environment we got a Queen of Wands. So this could be the same person in their feminine energy, but I'm, or it could be a couple. So, uh, so you could be fearing uh, Queen of Wands in her masculine energy, but uh, she's in her feminine energy in the environment here, or it could literally be a couple. Um, but I'm thinking either you're bringing a love off uh, uh, an offer of love to the, her, or, or they're bringing a love of offer to you. And, and either, whoever's doing it wants harmonious change. So it's, uh, we're hoping to do it harmoniously. So maybe there's a history between them. And you've got to remember a lot of judgments being held, handed down throughout this whole thing. So we're done in the uh, outcome of the Holy Spirit. Four of Pentacles, so you could be uh, hiding something or holding on to something pretty tight. Uh, you're gonna have to make a choice because uh, you're you're gonna be stagnant in the future here, and you have to pick a choice to move forward. And it will most likely make you real spin in the right direction. I'm gonna get one more for okay. one more. Holy Spirit. Okay, this is, this is going to cause some transformation. 
when this wheel spins, which is, I'm thinking, good transformation. This could be uh, Dr. Death, and uh, he's uh, going to perform an operation, a transformation, there, and hopefully uh, get your wheel spinning in the right direction here. But it's going to require you to make a choice, so you're going to have to, you know, there's only two to pick from, you're going to have to choose one. One can lead to some poverty, or like, uh, just keeping your head above the water while the other one can spin the wheel into your favor, into your favor. So, and transform your into uh, abundance. At the bottom of the deck we got the last judgment here, so I'm just gonna grab an deck quickly to clarify. something in prison and the hermit. The hermit giving to somebody in prison, like buying getting a canteen possibly. <sighs> okay. That's what the conflict's over. Um, presently what are you waiting for? That's what I want to know. I'm waiting for something in prison. It's uh for a little Chariot. Okay, so you're either waiting for a Cancerian or you're waiting for uh, your um, to gain control of your environment or for forward movement. And what's this Hierophant in the past? Uh, karma. Okay, so this is justice. This was justice. Could have had a run in with justice, or they could have been ju a form of justice to you. Uh, okay, who's this Princess of Cups? Who's this Princess of Cups? Two uh, virgin strength. Okay, so they're like feminine strength, or could also mean Leo, but I doubt it because it's a uh, person. What else can you text them? Maybe get to this one. Mother of Wind. Hmm. Queen of Wind, so Queen of Swords, so she could be very perceptive, or uh, you should be very perceptive dealing with this person, possibly. Because you're closing out a cycle with the two, so that's the right, you're, you're, you're going to be chopping her out of the equation, I think, because, uh, yeah, it's good to be in your Queen of Swords energy, because you want to close a cycle with this person, it's your challenge, closing a cycle. Why are you closing a cycle with this person? Six of water, okay, because of nostril gel, okay, because this is somebody from your past, I guess, or something you found out about the past, or something to do with the past. Uh, who's this King of Wands? Uh, reverse Eight of Earth. So somebody who reversed your business, or reversed your, uh, your reputation, maybe, as a Master your uh, craft. Okay. So you don't have a beef with that person. Nine of Swords. What put you in this Nine of Swords energy? What was it that put the uh, Virgo in this Nine of Swords energy? So I don't know. From the past. What was it? Okay, so love offer puts you in a nine of swords. It's okay. a nice shitty love offer. Uh, Knight of Cups is also so I'm thinking with the Queen of Wands. Who's this Queen of Wands? Is this the same person? 
Moon Long. This is a uh, Knight of Wind. So, Knight of Swords and a, kind of a bully. Hmm. What's this uh, transformation in the book? That's real. What's up? Queen of uh, Wands. So, it's the Queen of Wands that's going to make. Uh, she's going to come and do something bully ish, I think. Which is what she's doing right now in the environment. She's being kind of a bully and uh, it's going to create transformation. So, that's what it's kind of saying. She's responsible for that anyway. And, uh, what's this last chapter? Anything else you want to tell us about this, this, this whole situation? Anything else you want? Three of Wind. Three of Swords. That's like heartbreak. So where's this heartbreak coming from? Who's responsible for this heartbreak? Or yeah, Magus, a magician. Somebody who's manifesting something. Magician. Who's responsible for the heartbreak? Hmm. Bottom of the deck, we got the four of water. Mm, blended pleasure. Uh, what's with the hermit here? I might as well get this one too. Hermit. Earth. King of Pentacles reverse. So, and three of water. Stream of water. So celebrating with a really bad businessman? <laughs> this is what they're clarifying the hermit. Judgment. There's this wheel of fortune. What's this wheel of fortune? So, who do you have to with that? One of wind. Okay, so that's the truth. It's a wheel of fortune. will spin in your favor. The last judgment. What can you tell us about that? Five of earth. Okay, so the, the, the judgment's going to involve pentacles. It's going to be taking people who were possibly greedy with their pentacles are probably going to have them taken. Or people who try to take other people's like when the judgment's gonna be called down on people who misuse their pentacles, try to take pentacles that didn't belong to them. Have a good one.